Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about This Is Where It Ends by Marika Neikamp. Now I have this book featured in my top 2016 debut releases I was looking forward to so of course I had to do a video now that I've actually read it. This Is Where It Ends follows five teenagers on that fateful day at Opportunity High when the, all the doors to the auditorium are locked and somebody starts shooting. I wanted to read this book first of all because I used to teach in a secondary school and that kind of subject matter is just so close to my heart but that was also exactly the reason why I was quite scared to read it because I felt like I would get really emotionally invested, I would get very, you know, quite upset um, which turned out to be true but I still wanted to give it a shot because I was really like intrigued and kind of fascinated in a kind of slightly morbid way about how all of this would play out. Now the five different POVs, none of these are from the point of view of the shooter, which in a way I quite appreciated because it focuses on the victims, it focuses on people trying to survive rather than the person bringing destruction in their life. But it also made the shooter more unpredictable because we had no way of knowing what was going through his head, why he was doing these things. And it was only bit by bit that the whole reason and the whole story kind of was spun in front of our eyes. And I feel it's that unpredictability that makes this book work. It makes it work really hard and I feel that as a reader you also have to work quite hard to finish it because it is quite gritty. It's quite not in, well, it's not in your face. It's not looking for sensationalism at all. Like that is so not the point of this book. But it is truthful and it's honest. And I think when it comes to a subject such as a school shooting, you can't really get around the fact people get hurt and in some cases randomly. And, and it's just that whole feeling of injustice that I found so so much in this book. I just remembered like halfway through the book I sent a direct message to Marika saying like you have got to tell me whether there's hope for these two characters because I will I am dying here. I started reading I think just a day after it came out and I started reading it on a lunch break at at work but I, I then I kind of figured that this was not exactly the light reading material I like to you know, devour on my lunch break. Um, so I finished it a couple of days ago. I think I'd only done the first couple of chapters and I finished the rest of it in like one sitting um, with, <laughs> with the boyfriend next to me playing uh, Fallout 4. So yeah, that was a bit, that was maybe not the best soundtrack for this book because there was lots of like gunshots going around and I just, I just got tenser and tenser and tenser as you know, the book progressed. I'd read somewhere that somebody had an early review copy of this book and they could not, for the life of them, connect to the characters. Whereas in my case, I was enthralled by the characters. I think my favourites were probably Sylvia and Autumn, mostly because I just, I couldn't identify with their dreams so much. Like Sylvia wants to become a ballet dancer and Autumn just wants to get away. For me it just became, I just I just wanted them to be safe. And I think that's something that I felt about most of the characters in this book. I felt such a protective urge towards them and I, I think that's from my time teaching. I just wanted to like swoop in there and save them all somehow hopefully without getting hurt but it, it made me think of all my students and about how how absolutely gutted I would be if something like that would ever happen to any of them. And it's things like that that make it such a relatable book, I think. I really feel that no matter who you are, there will be somebody in, you know, within one of the POVs that you'll be able to relate to. Um, and that, you know, if there's more than one, then you're in for quite a bit of heartbreak, I'm afraid. Now, I already mentioned that I gave this book four out of five stars. Now, this is not because I didn't enjoy it. I really liked it. But for me, this is not the kind of book that I will recommend to anybody at all time, whatever, like, read this book, read this book. This is the kind of book that I will probably mention if somebody's looking for A, a contemporary, and B, something about that kind of subject matter, because I feel like it is very, very specific. For me, I don't really like being traumatized on a regular basis. So I don't know if you do, and if you like contemporaries, this will be the book for you. And I remember at the end, once I finished, and the boyfriend was still sitting next to me, I just basically cried into his shoulder for like 
quite a few minutes. How I explained it to him then was normally if I read about violence, if I read about people dying, it's in a fantasy setting and it is something that is more easily put aside whereas this happens all the time. The enormity and the sense of loss of life just kind of hit me. I know this is YA, I know that is written for a younger audience and it's written very responsibly, but I feel that this really is only a book for somebody who really wants to read about something like this. If you're on the fence about it, maybe leave it for a bit until you're like, yeah, I really want to read it. Maybe I'm just spoiled with my fantasy settings, maybe I am. I think it just hit so close to home for me and I think that's probably why I'm still a bit like, I do believe that the writing's excellent, it's so immersive and I was rooting for the characters and I just wanted them to survive so badly and I wanted to read the end and I wanted to know that everything was going to be okay for all of them, which of course in a school shooting scenario is kind of naive, um, but I still did. I just, I just, I fell in love with these characters and they were wonderful and the courage and bravery and vulnerability that a lot of these characters showed were so inspiring and so wonderful. So basically, if you like contemporaries, if you're interested in this kind of subject matter, if you want to read about really cool, awesome, but very relatable characters, then just read this book. This is where it ends, really is just one of those really little, little gems. It's gonna be hard hitting, it's gonna be quite gritty, but it'll be worth the effort, I feel. That's it for today, you guys. Have any of you ever read like a book about a school shooting? If you have, please let me know down below. I might wanna pick something up like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.